Was Oklahoma's last execution cruel and unusual? Thanks for joining us. I'm Judson McKee, and this is Union and Now. The attorneys for the next four inmates scheduled to be executed filed an appeal last week of a federal judge's ruling that the executions proceed. The appeal claims that Oklahoma's executions are a violation of the Constitution because of last month's execution of John Grant. An Associated Press reporter witnessed the execution and said Grant went into convulsions and vomited while the drugs were administered. Eight people died at an Asheville Music Festival, prompting, prompting calls for an independent outside investigation. Right now, Houston police are heading up the investigation, but police were also responsible for crowd control. Houston police aren't commenting on whether or not they will hand off the investigation to another agency. Oklahoma City Public Schools fired six teachers for not wearing masks, and the governor says the district violated state law. They were fired because they wouldn't follow an illegal mask mandate issued by their superintendent. This is preposterous, especially in a time when talented teachers are needed more than ever. And let me be clear, this is about a school district not following state law. This isn't a debate about masks. Oklahoma City implemented a mask mandate in violation of a recently passed law that prohibited mask districts from having mask mandates. At the same time, the governor said he was thankful for the, the district allowed parents to opt out of the law. A judge put the law on hold after school districts and education groups challenged the law. Oklahoma City put the mask mandate in place after opening with no masks, which led to a surge of cases of COVID-19. Four astronauts returned to Earth on Monday following a 200-day mission that began last spring. The astronauts were part of a SpaceX and NASA mission. Their arrival home was just eight hours after leaving the space station and paved the way for the launch of their replacements. Oklahoma City is home to the best double cheeseburger in America, or so says one of the nation's most popular food critics. According to the Oklahoman, Alton Brown was in, in town to perform his Beyond the Eats program at the Civic Center Music Hall. Brown tweeted, So, Oklahoma City, you have the best double cheeseburger in America, and then tagged Bar Al Volta, where he had the burger. Is Alton Brown accurate? Let us know in the comments where your favorite burger can be found. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to check out our website and the social media pages for more news from our team of student journalists.